Hi guys, it's Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today, we give an update on Starlink Internet. We look at where we are now with Starlink, how Starlink is helping the poor and disadvantaged. And if we stay to the end, we'll look and see what the future holds for Starlink. Before we begin, if you do enjoy this video and want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like. And if you are short of time, then please look at the timeline in the description below. So now let's get into it. To date, Starlink SpaceX have launched over 3000 satellites into space, covering the USA, Canada and the UK. To cover the whole world, SpaceX needs to send up to 42,000 satellites into space. If you, want to if you want to learn more about this, check out my other videos on Starlink. Satellite technology is not new. What makes Starlink different is that its satellites are low Earth orbit. What this means is, is you need more of them, but they do provide better quality. In other words, higher speeds and no buffering. In the USA, the normal price for a startup kit is $599 and then a subscription of $110 per month. So what is Starlink doing now? Well, it's trying to get more satellites into space. Secondly, it's working with T-Mobile to increase coverage. Their slogan is to increase coverage above and beyond. Despite Starlink being available in the USA, Canada and the UK, Starlink also has agreements in over 17 countries. Their vision is to put an end to the mobile dead zone. Where T-Mobile does not have mobile tower transmitters, Starlink hopes to plug the hole. At the moment, there are many countries that cannot afford to build transmitters. The existing internet system, which is changing, relies on a satellite the size of a bus transmitting signals from 2,000 miles away as it orbits space. It cannot reach all of the people on Earth, and due to its distance, this can lead to slow speeds and buffering. Starlink is also working with Hawaii Airlines so that their passengers can use their mobiles whilst flying. Starlink hopes to extend this to other airlines, with Starlink satellites ranging from two to 400 miles in space. This is quite achievable. And then of course there is shipping, Starlink is working with the Royal Caribbean Cruise Company so that people on ships can make and receive calls on their mobiles and use their laptops. So, how is Starlink helping poor and disadvantaged countries at the moment? Well, in the war in Ukraine, where Russia destroyed most of Ukraine's telecommunication transmitters, Starlink provided over 500 dishes to Ukraine so they could use their mobiles as well as use their drones to defend their country. In January 2022, when the volcano in Tonga erupted, it cut off the cabling under sea and left Tonga without internet for about a month. Starlink came to the rescue. In summary, Starlink will, in the future, be able to provide internet to countries that cannot afford transmitters for mobile, computer and laptop usage. In countries that have transmitters, Starlink will make the internet quicker, there will be no buffering, and downloads will be faster. Apple have just launched their new iPhone and are doing this with a Starlink competitor, so check them out as well. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and if you'd like to see more content, hit the subscriber button below. And all being well, see you in the next one.